Okay, we are going to go over the chapter six two homework and just gonna walk you through a little bit and hopefully give you some good pointers on the ways to think through this. So first of all, the the key thing as I've said before is that when you want to plan first uh, on a problem like this and so what I used to do is I would sit down and I would write down all the variables I need first. So I would read the directions and determine the variables that I need. So in this case we go this class uses a definite while loop to collect the student's name. Well that means I need a variable that uh, that collects or that's going to store the name of a student. Um, so there's going to be one variable right there that I'll use. All right, then, uh, and it's going to also collect four first quarter test scores. Now you might think, okay, well I need a, a, a variable for each test score, which could be done. It's not as efficient, but it could be done that way. Uh, we're, I'm just going to use just one variable to keep track of a test score, and the reason is because uh, of using a loop. And so test score is going to be another one. And I'm going to keep track of the total points accumulated from all four tests. Well, there's another number that has to be stored somewhere. And so I'm going to store that in a variable called uh, sum of scores. All right, so this is give me fits. All right, so I've got those three so far. Then I keep reading, and I go outside the loop. The test average is calculated. Oh, test average. Well, there's another variable. So again, it's important that you sit down and make a list of your variables that you need first. And then it's calculated, and the user is notified of his or her test average. Now, if I'm going to calculate the test average, I know then mathematically that I've got to take the total points, which would be the sum of the scores, and I have to divide it by uh, the number of tests. Well, number of tests, there's another number. Well, there's another variable then. So I'm going to use another variable to store how many tests are uh, being used in here. And, uh, and then the rest of it is going to be where we're going to be displaying a message to the user. So there's no other variables except I'm going to be using a loop, a definite while loop. So with a definite while loop, I'm going to need a, a loop control variable. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in now. Only it shouldn't be capitalized. Um, all right, so there's my variables. So I need to, to go here and then I need to declare those variables. So it's a good thing sometimes to just to put all your declarations right at the beginning. So we're over here um, doing all of our declarations. And um, so um, why are we using doubles? Well, because we're going to be finding an average and the directions say up here that we want to uh, calculate this so it has one decimal place. So you've got to have a double in the calculation. So uh, it's either got to be the sum of the scores or the number of tests. So um, I'm actually going to go ahead and just make all this these doubles here and then the number of tests in int and we should be okay um, in here. And then we've got the count variable which is uh, being initialized, it's declared and assigned, and then the test average. And then the decimal format, which we're going to use here, um, is going to look like this. So this allows me one decimal point or place. And then um, this symbol has to be added in here. Now without any kind of quotation, the symbol, the percent symbol, will uh, do some mathematical function in there. I believe it divides by a multiplies by a hundred or something, and so um, what we want to do is we want to put it in a sense within quotes, but we're already within quotes, so we do a quote within a quote, like an English class. Uh, we do single quotes. All right, so that's going to help us put the percent sign in there without typing it ourselves. 
All right, then we're going to start, then we're going to type the program. Now, as I've suggested before, um, we, I'm going to type this without the, uh, at first without the loop. So what, what does it say we need to do? We have to collect the student's name. So we have to collect the student's name. Well, we're going to, and we're using a J option pane dialog box. So here's our, um, here is our line that will ask the user for their name and store it in student name. Uh, and we also have to ask for their score. So here we go. So we're going to store uh, the score, each score into the test score. And um, we are going to, so we ask them to enter a test score. Now because uh, G Option Pane uh, returns strings, when the, if they type a 90, uh, that's really not a 90 that you can add or subtract or multiply or divide. It is a string, acts like a string. And so we have to convert it using the double wrapper class in this case because um, test score uh, I have as a double. Now if you have the test score as, a, as an int, then you would use the integer wrapper class. So um, then we go on. So there's the test score as a double. And then um, we need to um, find a way to add them up as we go along. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take the sum of the scores and we're going to keep, continue to add the test score to it as we go along. And so you're going to see how this works in just a second. And this is we're going to talk about this at another time, but uh, this is going to be an important type of variable that you need to know how to use, and that would be it's an accumulating uh, variable. And um, this is how it works. You basically you're going to assign it uh, the value of its current value plus whatever you're going to add to it. And so uh, that will be an, uh, something we're going to need. And then um, I'm going to use num of test plus plus, which means to add one to num of test. Um, so every time I go through the loop, it's going to add one, so I can keep track of how many tests I have. Well, you, uh, you well, okay. So let's go on here, and then at some point we're going to take the test average, calculate the test average by using these variables here. So where does the loop go? The loop is going to going to go around the lines of code that need to be repeated. So what you do is you look at this and you go, okay, enter your name. Are we going to have them enter their name every time they enter a score? No. So that it means we don't want the loop to be there. Uh, do we need to ask them the test score more than once? Do we need to repeat, repeat that? And the answer is yes. So we know we have to start here with the loop. So above there, we're going to do the while statement. All right, so here's the while statement um, right here above where we're going to start repeating, and we're going to I'm going to make the count less than or equal to four because I'm starting at one, so it's going to go one, two, three, four. Uh, so it's going to get four tests. We have our opening brace. Um, when do we? How far do we want to go? Well, we want to. Uh, ask them their scores. We're going to add the score at the t during the loop to the sum of the scores. We're going to keep track of the number of tests. We're going to calculate the test average, however, after the loop. So it says here, um, outside of the loop, the test average is calculated. So that gives us a clue that we need to have a closing brace for the loop right here. Now we're we have uh, five parts of a of the loop, which is something that you need to memorize. So you have to have a loop control variable initialized. You have the while statement for where it's tested. You have the opening brace. You have the closing brace. But you also need to have where the the loop control variable is updated. And so I'm going to do a, an update right here um, by just using the count plus plus. And that again, that adds um, one to the variable count. 
All right, so. Okay, so now let's take a look at how this goes, because what's going to happen is you're probably going to, at this point, um, compile it, and you're going to get some errors. So I'm going to show you why you're going to get errors at this point, and also to show you how this works. So we, you've got to be able to follow code. It's criti critical. And so here we ask for the student name. And so let's say the student name is Sally Sue. And um, and so that gets entered in here. And then we go to the while loop, and you go, and the count is being called. And um, count is 1. And it's not typing. Count is 1. So is 1 less than or equal to 4? So since it's true, we jump into the loop. And we're going to we're going to assign we're going to ask the user for to enter a test score and we're going to store it in the um, variable test score and so we ask them and let's just say that they say well um, I got an 85 and so the 85 gets put into or assigned to test score it gets stored there now we're going to calculate the sum of the scores well the sum of the scores is assigned the sum of scores which what is the value of the sum of scores well if you look over here in the memory location it's nothing there's nothing in here it's empty that's going to cause a compiler error you've got to have something there so it's going to say um, that the sum of scores may have may not have been initialized so therefore this is one that we have to initialize at the time of declaration and just you start it at zero because it's got nothing in it, so you give it a zero, and then it's going to work. So the it's going to go zero plus test score. It calls test score. What is test score? Eighty-five. Zero plus eighty-five is eighty-five. And then num of test plus plus is going to in, increment um, this. Now I'm not sure if this needs to be. Um, initialize before we do this. I kind of have a feeling we need to. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and have to check that out later just to make sure. I'm going to go ahead and initialize it. Make it zero. So num of test is zero plus one and so now it's going to make it um, one. So that's one test and then we're going to keep track of the number of loops and so um, or yeah the counter here and so this is going to become two okay this is, brace says end of loop return to while so go to while and now it's calling count count is now two and is two less than or equal to four yes so we go jump in the loop and we ask for another test score so let's say that they say at 90. And then the sum of scores is going to accumulate that 90. And so the sum of scores right now is 85. And then the test score is, nine, is currently 90. And just for kicks, I'm going to change this. I'm, I'm going to demonstrate how this really works. This is re really a 90 right now. So it's going to add these two together. And so it's going to get 175. So 175 is assigned. And then the number of tests increases, because that's the second test now. The count is updated. The loop control variable is updated to 3 end of loop go back to while 3 is less than or equal to 4 jump into the loop ask for another test score well let's say they got an 80 alright so now it's 80 and then the next line down says assigned to the sum of scores whatever the sum of scores is well it's 175 is what it says and then plus a test score well test score right now says 80 so you can see how it's accumulating uh, the test scores and uh, combining them, keeping a running score, so to speak. So 80 plus 175 is 255. And then we in, we increment the number of tests. So now that's been three tests. The count goes to four. 
Um, and so the question, or the thing is now we end the loop, go back to while, and 4 is less than or equal to 4. So we jump back in, ask for another score, and let's say we got oh, another 90. All right, so then uh, it's going to take sum of scores as a sum of scores. Well, the sum of scores right now is 255. So it's calling it, gets 255, calls test score, it's 90 right now. And so adds those together, and it assigns to this, so this would be 345. Then it, it increments, so now we've done four tests. And then the count goes up to five. This is important that this updates because now at the end of the loop we go back to while and, and then five is less than or equal to four. That count now, it gets controlling the loop because now that count is too high. So it's, so that makes this a false Boolean expression which says to kick out of the loop. And so now we're going to go down here and we're going to go out past the loop and do the next line down past the loop. So now test average is going to be assigned the sum of scores. Well, the sum of scores, as you can see over here, is 345. And it's going to divide it by the number of tests. And we see that we have four. Now, you might say, well, why didn't we just use count? Or why didn't we use the num of tests? Um, as the loop control variable, uh, which you could do, but if you'll notice here, the count is five. So if you are going to control the loop with the way we have it set it up here with a num of tests, num of tests would have to get to five before this became false. And so this, you would have to make adjustments. And that you could make adjustments. You could make adjustments either to what you start with or what you end with here or uh, in the Boolean expression. You could also subtract 1 from here if you wanted to. Take count minus 1. So there's different things you can do. Um, so I like as a, as a beginning group, I like the idea of keeping having a, a loop control variable that does only counting the, the loop. The number are is incrementing each time you go through the loop. So that, that is my suggestion. Uh, num, number of tests to keep that separate from counting the times through the loop. So anyways, it's going to divide this and it's going to get a decimal. But then of course our decimal format is going to cause it whoops, to um, uh, format correctly and so it this should work so at this point if we were to say the changes and compile it it looks good and if we run it, it it'll work now let's just check something out here let's say that we took the um, num of num of tests and what happens if we don't initialize it and so we go here okay so you can see how the num of tests it says it has not been initialized so like I thought this has to be um, num of tests has to start with a zero because it's going to go one plus num of tests and if there's nothing in num of tests it's going to um, it's not going to know what to do with that so uh, this does need to be initialized or assigned all right, that is the idea with this assignment, um, so I hope that helps.